Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hi, my name is Scott Schaefer. This is the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel. And today we are here in Chris's shop. Chris Williams from Rocky Blue Woodworks. And today we're going to apply an epoxy finish on an aspen tabletop. We had to change up the design of the, uh, of the glue up here on this tabletop. If you want to watch how we glue up tabletops, just click on my face right now and that will take you over to that video. There will be a link at the end of that video to bring you back to right here. Actually, why don't you click on Chris's face since uh, this is his shop. You don't mind people clicking on your face, nope, right? That's fine. Okay. Click on Chris's face to go see how to glue up wood tabletops. We did a little bit differently here. What we did was uh, we did five inch boards on every single board uh, instead of using the entire board. It was to narrow them up a little bit. I also alternated the grain. Which that means you look at the growth rings on the, on the back end of it and when they go like this, the next one over you want to have run the other way just to keep it from warping. Why do we do that? Uh, because if they're all in the same direction, they can uh, they tend to warp all in the same direction. So if you flip flop each one, it'll keep the whole table from warping in one direction. It's a small sacrifice because usually what I do is I pick the side with the most color and I put that side up. But uh, it's important to have a little bit less color in a flat table than to have a lot of color in a rounded table. Don't want that. So well, why do we do five inch boards instead of using the full eight inches that the board could give me? Uh, we're just trying to keep the thickness to the width ratio down to a manageable amount because if they get too wide and too thin, then that's when they can warp more. So we try to shorten up the width on it. So we've had trouble with this before. We, uh, the last tabletop we glued up, I did use 8 inch wide boards. Um, like I said, I put the color side up so I didn't alternate the grain pattern. And what happened was, is uh, the grain runs this way and it warps this way. So these two ends actually sunk. And uh, we don't know why that happens. Um, doesn't happen with the pine, you said, is usually? Right. Yeah, they, they do a lot of beetle kill, beetle kill pine. And it doesn't happen with that. So. so the aspen is doing something a little bit funny. So we've tried this new way of doing it. We're going to take it over to Chris's shop, uh, home shop because it's a little dusty here to do the epoxy finish. We're going to show you how to do that. So okay. what we have here is four examples of beetle kill tables. And this example right here, I have seven coats of a water-based polyurethane on here. And you can see lots of dents and scratches in it. It's not too durable. Um, it is waterproof, so if you set a glass down, um, it's not going to soak in the wood. But you will get um, sunlight, will darken the wood, and make it discolored. The reason I put so many coats on was to keep the bark on the sides uh, from falling off. So it's not, hasn't turned out to be real durable. This table right here, we have a deft brushing lacquer finish, which is only, I think, three coats. Put two coats on, sand it, and then put the third coat on. You don't have to spray the last coat, like polyurethane, you have to spray the last coat. So there's no brush marks, but this is really good. It's a little bit more durable than the polyurethane, but still not quite as good as epoxy. So here we have, example of a coffee table with the epoxy finish on here and as you can see I have a saw inlaid into it. I routed out an eighth of an inch pocket for it to sit in and then poured the epoxy in a rounding teeth and all along the table one coat to seal it and then a second coat to make it perfectly flat and smooth like glass so you can't even feel the saw and nothing sticking up. And it's impact resistant. Um, it's bar top epoxy, so you know it's resistant to any kind of water or if you set a drink on it. So this table right here I built for myself out of a couple of logs that I got, some trees that I cut down myself. And you can see I also laid two saws into it, and it also has the epoxy finish, so it's perfectly smooth and flat. And if you look down at it at an angle, it just looks like a sheet of glass. So it's extremely durable, uh, really good for dining room settings. It completely preserves the wood underneath of it, so nothing can ever happen to the wood underneath of it. So it's completely sealed. 